Hannah, it's so good to hear from you. How are you doing with everything that's going on? Hi Caroline, I'm doing well actually, how are you? Well, to be honest, I'm having a pretty hard time with distance learning and I felt really isolated recently. I think my mental health is declining, but I'm just not sure what to do about it. Ugh, that sucks. But just try not to worry about it too much. It's really important to stay on the bright side, you know? Just be optimistic and try to be happy. Hold up. Let's take a closer look at this conversation. Grace, you know what this means now, don't you? You know I do, Katie. It's conversation detoxification time. You said it, Grace. Here, Bears, we have a classic case of toxic positivity. This is when somebody expresses that they're feeling down or sad and then just gets a response of something along the lines of, Don't worry. Be happy. You're absolutely right, Katie. And although the Bobby McFerrin song is dangerously catchy, it's even more dangerous for toxic positivity right now with everything going on with COVID, distance learning, and things like that. Exactly, and no one can be happy every single day. Everybody has their moments. Yep, I know I have mine for sure. Let's go back to this conversation and try it again correctly. Well, to be honest, I'm having a pretty hard time with distance learning and I felt really isolated recently. I think my mental health is declining, but I'm just not sure what to do about it. Caroline, I'm really sorry to hear about that. You know, our counselors are open for office hours and there's many resources on our website. I just want you to know that I care about you and I'm always here to talk. We hope you all know that teachers and counselors are here to talk to you guys and there are tons of resources for those kinds of things on our OHS webpage. We also hope that you have learned how to better your communication with your friends during this time. It isn't easy for anyone and it's way better to be supportive than to try to push their problems aside with toxic positivity. Hey Bears, my name is Lucy. And I'm Grace. And we're both a part of the leadership team for Bear Crew 2. Our club specializes in promoting inclusion between general education students and special education students at our school. We do tons of fun activities and we are always looking for new members. We meet once a month during Bear Time A and we hope to see you there. Bye! African American Alliance or AAA is welcoming new members. This is a safe space for African American or minority students. This group also assists in creating a more diverse activities for the student body, raising cultural awareness, education, and a new level of consciousness about being African American in today's society. AAA is committed to intellectual, cultural, social, and ethnic diversity. AAA is open to all students regardless of racial or cultural differences and welcomes diversity as it provides a table for rich discussion understanding and acceptance. If you have more questions, please am email Mr. Antonio a mclennan at osd.wednet.edu. Minecraft Club meets on Wednesdays from 1.45 to 2.45 p.m. Come join fellow Minecrafters to do and talk all things Minecraft. D&D Role Playing Club will be meeting on Wednesdays from 12.45 to 3 p.m. Come prepare to make a new character. If you have already played D&D and are interested in either becoming a dungeon master or helping out new people, talk to the club president. Peer tutoring will only be offered during the first session from 10.30 to 11.30 on Wednesdays. Library books and class materials are available to pick up inside the North Street entrance to OHS. Exit your vehicles and come to the open door. Remember to pick up textbooks and supplies that your teachers email you about. Daily pickup is from 8 to 4. Have you ever wanted to be able to say, thank you for coming to my TED Talk? Now is your opportunity. OHS will be hosting TEDx Olympia High School on March 13th, an event where students will give innovative and inspiring speeches that will be posted on the official TEDx YouTube page with 28 million subscribers. Speaker applications will close on Saturday night, January 9th. The speaker application can be found on the event's Instagram page at TEDx Olympia or the website TEDx Olympia High School. As you all know, this year has been different in many ways. 
there have been plenty of obstacles and difficulties presented to us. The loss of social interactions, sports, jobs, and just the overall uncertainty of this year has been really challenging. It has been easy to become unmotivated and have feelings of frustration. Something that is important to remember is that you're not in this alone. You have a whole school of teachers and classmates who are pushing for you to finish strong. We are all in the same boat and working together to keep going. Throughout the changes this year, we have been able to persevere and come together as a community to bring positivity and hope for the future. So we want to put together a video showing you some strategies that people in our community use to stay motivated and positive. We got this, Bears. Hi, I'm Tiana, and a way I stay motivated is by staying in safe contact with friends and family. Hi, I'm Margaret Otto, and something that keeps me motivated is trying to stay optimistic and checking in on my friends. My teachers and friends have definitely been keeping me motivated this year. How I stay motivated is by FaceTiming friends to work on projects and homework together. Something that's been keeping me motivated this year are my friends and family. I know that when I have a rough day at school, I can always go to them, and they make me feel so much better. And even through all of this, starting at March, they've been there for me. By turning on your camera in class, it will help to build a community online and hold you accountable to pay attention. Going outside and doing the things I love, whether it's soccer practice or even just a short walk, give my mind a break from all the stress and work I may have. Something that makes me feel a lot more positive and happy is saying hi to my pets. We understand this time is difficult. We all have different things weighing us down, causing us to feel less motivated than we normally do. We hope that some of these ideas and tips can be helpful to you and motivate you to keep pushing forward. We will all get through this together. We got it.